They are painting every statement in defense of human rights as foreign interference, benefiting from the confusion between the two. It is vital, it is vital that the free world not fall for such cruel cynicism in the name of realpolitik. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights knows no national boundaries. Its defense is not only a matter of ethics, but a mutual obligation of all governments who are its signatories. It is also in their interest. No one, no one will benefit from closing his or her eyes to knives and cables cutting into faces of mouths of our young and old. <sighs> or from bullets piercing our beloved Neda, Seen was the quest for freedom. No one but tyrants had their thugs. Do not let them define what is disrespect for sovereignty, what is interference in others' affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, A movement was born on the 22nd of Khordad in my calendar, the 12th of June in yours. It is not Islamic or anti-Islamic. It is not for capitalism or socialism, nor any other ideology or specific form of government. It cares little about historical squabbles before its birth, but it is about the sanctity even more, the sovereignty of the ballot box. It may not succeed immediately. It may have ebbs and flows. But let me assure you, it will not die. Because we will not let it die. A week later, <clears throat> the Supreme Leader of the Islamic Republic decided to stand erect as a dam in front of this movement, sanctioning theft of the ballot box and flagrant fraud, all in the name of Islam. It was an ugly moment of disrespect for both God and man. It will not stand. The citizens of Iran will not stand it. And at the end, he will not stand. 